Bom dia everyone, so today we're going to look at the crazy F411 Express LRS version of the flight controller and let's see what we have in the box. Alright, so what's included are these rubber grommets and spare connecting pins. These are the vertical connecting pins, where the ones attached are the horizontal ones. So this is the flight controller itself, it's pretty thin. Happy model made them this way to be as light as possible. Next we have the ELRS antenna as well as the XT30 connector. Alright, so just to note that this is a 4-in-1 AIO flight controller, so a VTX is not included. Right here we have the IPEX connecting pin, and this is for the EP1 antenna. This is actually a UART EP1 ELRS version, and not an SPI, which means that this is a serial-based receiver as compared to the regular SPI receiver. Also do note that it has only one available UART which is TX1 and RX1 because there's a dedicated UART2 which is used for the Express LRS receiver. You are not able to use TX2 and RX2. But in the case that you do want to use TX2 and RX2, you could disable the express LRS and by soldering up the 5 volts and E5 that will disable the express LRS and make the TX2 and RX2 available as an additional UR. Now I have the previous version of the Crazy F411 both on my Shogun 4 frame and it has been amazingly nice to fly with so I can't wait to see what this flight controller has in store for this particular version. So Happy Model had said that this will be the new replacement for the Crux 35 flight controller and this will replace the old X1 flight controller. And do note that the Crazy F411 is a 20M ESC as compared to the X1 which is a 12M ESC. So I'm going to be building a 3S 3 inch micro and I'll be using this 1204 motors. These are the EX 1204 6500 KV motors. And I'm going to be using Angry Don's Pocket Race Rocket Frame. And this is actually one of my favorite frames for 3 inch. And I'll be flying with these GNB 550 HV LiPos. I would also like to apologize as my voice hasn't fully recovered yet, but at least I can speak. It's just that it's a little hoarse. Too much sake and ramen. Alright, so let's get on with the build video. Uh, I won't be going through the binding process or the setting up process on Betterflight as it has been done similar to the other videos. So I'm just going to do a quick build video. As this is a serial based receiver, you do the same as you would with an EP1 and you could flash the firmware and put your personal binding phrase into the EP1. Uh, also for the Betterflight, I'm gonna fly it as is, um, stock tune. I mean, well, it's already pre tuned, so you don't really need to have it tuned much, but I'm just gonna try and see how the stock tune goes. Alright, so I'm gonna be putting HD0 on this particular build, and as I mentioned earlier, there isn't an additional UART, so I'm gonna sacrifice the smart audio for this. Okay, the build is all done, so it's time to fly. Thank you. 